Welcome back everyone. In the last video, I have discussed how to create the state, event and block. And if you remember the block which we have created, that is the user block, the constructor of the user block takes the reference of user repository. In this video, I will discuss how to display the data fetched from the API in the UI. If I run the project, then we will get output like this. My requirement is that whenever I will click on this floating action button, then the data should be loaded from the API and it should be displayed in the UI. For that, let me move to main.dart. In the main.dart, you can see that this home is taking my home page, which is nothing but the stateless widget. In the home, I will use a widget which is called as a repository provider, which is provided by the Flutter block library. The repository provider provides the repository to its children. Now this repository provider takes create and in the create here we need to pass the user repository which we have created. So I am passing the user repository and the user repository takes the object of user provider. So here I will pass the object of user provider and to this repository provider as a child here I will pass block provider and to this block provider in the create here I need to pass the block which we have created that is the user block. Now this user block if you remember this user block constructor takes the object of user repository. So here how we will inject the user repository this will be injected with the help of context.read method because here we have used the repository provider and as I told you that the repository provider provides the repository to its children. So to access that user repository here we can write context dot read and here I need to specify the type of the repository that is the user repository. So here we have passed the user repository object to the constructor of the user block and as a child of this block provider here I will pass this home page. So let me pass it here sorry here that is it. Now I will go to this build method in the body here instead of this sized box here I need to write the code. So in the body here I will use the widget which is nothing but the block builder. So here I will use block builder and as you know that block builder takes the block which we have created that is the user block and here we need to pass the state as well that is the user state. and let me import. Now this block builder here we need to pass builder and this builder takes context and state sorry context and state. And now here I need to write the logic. So first of all here I will check what is the user state. So first of all here I will check if state is user loading state. If it is a loading state then I need to display a circular progress indicator. So here I will return in the center as a child here I will use circular progress indicator. So if the state is loading state then this circular progress indicator will be displayed. Now here I need to check if the state is error state if state is user error state then whatever error is there that I need to display. To do that here again I will simply copy this I will paste it here and instead of circular progress indicator here I will use a text widget. And in the text widget, I will simply display a message error. 
so this will execute if there is any error now next if the state is success state then again i need to check if state is user success state this means the data has been fetched successfully from the api then here i need to write the logic to build the ui so first of all here i will uh, use a list of datum now this list of datum is actually declared inside the user model if i go to the user model then you can see this list of datum okay so list of datum let me give its name as user list equals to here i will write state dot user model dot data so that uh, user list will be stored inside this user list variable now here i will return first of all i will check if user list dot is empty if it is empty then what will happen and if it is not empty then what will happen so let me reverse this i will check is that if it is not empty then here i need to display the ui to uh, here i need to display the ui to display the user information and if it is empty then here what i will do here i will uh, simply use uh, let me copy this that will be better let me copy this paste it here and here i need to display the message as no data found but if the user list is not empty then here i will return sorry then here i will use list view dot builder and in the item builder which will take the context and the index here i will use return of let me use a widget which is the padding widget and in the padding here i will pass as age insets dot symmetric and let me pass vertical spacing as 4 and let me pass the horizontal spacing as let it be 8 and as a child of this padding widget i will take a card and to this card as a child i will use list style and to this list style first of all i will use title i will use title and to this title here i will use the text property and here i need to display the user first name and last name so let me use this user list of index user list of index dot first name and again here i need to use dollar of let me copy this paste it here and instead of first name here i need to display the last name so in the title i have displayed the user first name and last name now in the subtitle here again i will use the text widget so let me copy this paste it here and in the in the subtitle i will display the user's email so let me remove this from here 
and instead of first name here I will display the email. Next I will display or I will use the leading property and in the leading property I will use circle avatar and as a child of the circle avatar or here I can use the background image property of circle avatar to this I will use network image and to the network image here I will pass the user's profile image or user's avatar to do that here again I will use user list of index dot avatar dot to string fine and here I need to put a semicolon now let me click here click here and add const modifier that is it and at the last here I need to return one more widget if no condition is matched if it is also not matched at that time here I will return const of simply I will return a sized box that is it now let me save this and let me click on this floating action button actually let, let me do a hot restart here now I will click on this floating action button ok now whenever this floating action button will be clicked at that time we need to generate that load user event so let me go to this floating action button here and in the on pressed here I will use context dot read and in the read here I need to pass user block and after that here I will call add and here I need to generate the event which event load user event that is it now once I click on this floating action button then that load event will be fired and whenever this load event will be fired at that time it will get the data from the repository and it will display the data to the UI let me click here and let me show you if I click here then you can see circular progress indicator is displayed and once I click here then it is generating error and that error is generating because in the list in the list view builder here I have not specified the item count this is the item builder here I need to specify the item count and in the item count I will use user list dot length now let me save this and let me click here once again now once I click here then you can see that the user list has been displayed the avatar the user name and the user email id and whenever I will click here first of all the circular progress indicator is displayed let me refresh this once again if I click here then initially the circular progress indicator is displayed and after that this UI is rendered with the user list this is how we can fetch the data from API and display it to the UI by using the repository provider that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.